road trip. We're here in beautiful Nova Scotia and there's no better road trip companion than an SL from Mercedes-Benz. This is a pretty rare occurrence. This is a brand new model and only happens roughly every 10 years. You see the very first SL came out in 1952. It's the 60th anniversary of this car and it's only the sixth generation. They don't update this car very often. What do you get with an SL? First of all, you get elegance, you get class, you get sophistication, you get power and a great looking car. Let's have a look around. At first glance, this new SL might look similar to the older model with a refreshed front and rear, but that isn't the case. This is an all new car, one that is more athletic, lighter, faster, and less expensive. For 2013, the SL comes with an AMG exterior package, including standard 19 inch wheels, lower bodywork, aggressive front spoiler, and dual exhaust. The body is now aluminum, shedding weight, and fitted with an all new engine. Now, anybody that's owned a Mercedes SL, looked inside one, peered through the window, you know this classic Roadster layout. Now, Mercedes didn't mess with a good thing, so it looks familiar. But what they've done, Mercedes has been systematically updating the interiors of their cars. And they needed to because even though they had high quality materials, the interiors were kind of drab. And now they have a little bit more sparkle, literally, with some chrome in here, brushed aluminum, nice looking instrument cluster behind the steering wheel. Around the shifter, you get all these buttons that affect the suspension, the transmission, the eco mode. You can dial that all in. You'll also notice the computer controller here that lets you get into the navigation and radio screen. What's great about that is that's where you adjust these fabulous seats. There's all kind of controls. You can drive along the road and have your back massage. There's also a dynamic setting that adjusts the bolsters in. When you go around a corner, the bolsters tuck into the side to give you support. Now, one of the greatest features of any open air roadster is keeping warm. What you have here is what Mercedes calls an air scarf. You're driving along and it sucks air in through the back and warms it up and blows it over your shoulders and neck to keep you warm. You also have the air deflector in the back and you have the seats warmed up and the heat going. So even on a cool day, you can really enjoy this open air car. Now, one thing, this is a retractable hard top. It takes just seconds as you saw to put the roof down. But what's remarkable is in the back, you have an area underneath the tunnel cover and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. As you can see, we have our camera bag, we have our tripod, we have all kinds of things in there and there's still enough room for two people to go away for a weekend in this car. And we have our new front base system with the, uh, the standard Harman Kardon Logic 7 surround sound system that integrates the subwoofers into the front passenger uh, footwells and uses the hollow frame of the vehicle as a resonating chamber for the two subwoofers. So it gives you unmatched sound performance in a Roadster even when you have the top down, something you can always enjoy, uh, enjoy your music even with the top down with the new SL. Uh, we have our active by Xenon headlamps with their adaptive high beam control so that gives you the, uh, the, the swiveling headlights uh, with our uh, active by Xenon system and also the adaptive uh, high beam uh, assist is something we've, we've rolled out on other Mercedes-Benz vehicles that automatically activates and deactivates your high beams at night. We have our new uh, hands-free access so if you're uh, approaching your vehicle with a handful of groceries or anything else, you just swipe your foot underneath the rear bumper and it will open the trunk automatically. It senses the key in your pocket. Uh, but importantly, it will also let you close it as well. So when you get home and you have all those things in your arms again, it'll let you swipe your foot under the bumper uh, and close the trunk like you opened it. Well, Mercedes has a totally different approach with this brand new SL and it makes it a wickedly quick car. This car is actually just as fast, zero to 100 kilometers an hour, as the old SL AMG 63. So it really has a lot of performance. A couple of things working in its advantage. It now has an all aluminum structure. It's 130 kilograms lighter than the older car, even though it's slightly wider and a little bit longer. And it now has a 4.6 liter turbocharged V8 engine that puts out 429 horsepower and 516 foot-pounds of torque. So it's quick, it's light, and it's more efficient. It uses 18% less fuel. We've been driving today, we've done over 500 kilometers in this car, and we still have over a quarter tank of fuel left, which is pretty remarkable. And we've been, we've been hitting this car pretty hard on the throttle. So it's a, it's a beautiful car. It just dances through the corners because now it comes standard with an adaptive suspension. You can put it in comfort, you can put it in sport, and it levels the car so when you go around corners, it always keeps the car as level as possible. 
Well, we're uh, we're introducing the SL 550 at one hundred twenty three thousand nine hundred dollars, which uh, is down. The old SL was was one twenty six. We've we've added equipment. Uh, the car is uh, lighter, it's faster, better fuel economy, uh, lots of new innovations, new safety equipment. So we're giving our customers a, a great package for the money in the new SL. Now somebody that buys this car isn't just buying a beautiful car, they're making a statement about where they are in their life. And when you buy an SL, you get everything that Mercedes-Benz stand for. Security, safety, refinement, quality, and it's all wrapped up in this iconic Roadster. The good thing about buying this particular model in this particular year is the fact that it'll be current for roughly 10 more years. Looking for a sports car? See all the reviews of the latest models at drivingtelevision.com.